Hello everyone, my name is Ifnai Kimwa and I'm a student of Unilag. Today I'm here to talk about the public higher institution and the private higher institution. Honestly, I want to like give like a debate, not more like a debate, but I want to give reasons why a private higher institution is more better and beneficial to the student than a public higher institution. Normally, people will say public higher institution, when you go to a public school, a school owned by the government, the degree gotten is more recognized when you graduate than from those that graduated from a private institution. Yes, it may be true, but at the same time, with what is happening in this country, with the situation of this country, things have changed. I'm a student of Indian language. If I see the opportunity to go to a private university, I will go to a private university because I'm just I'm a high level student. And my few time, the few um, months I spent in school before the ongoing strike started, I realized that public school will always be a public school. A school that is owned by the government will always be a school that is owned by the government. Right now, we are the ones teaching ourselves. We teach ourselves. We haven't, we haven't been taught anything, but we know that if the, call, if the strike is called off any time from now, that we are going to write exams. 100 level students, what do we know? We have not been taught anything. Even when we were in school, when there was no strike, we can go to class, we can go to the lecture hall, and then the lecturer will not come. Well, at the end of the day, people will say that those who graduated from a public school is more recognized. Is more recognized. Their results, their results are more recognized than those who graduated from a private university. To me, I would say a private university is much more better than a public university because private universities, though their fees are always high, a private university will give you all the best. They will teach you all what you want to know. My, school, my cousin is schooling in a private university, Babcock, and I can say that there's no issue of lecturer not coming to um, class and all that. Lecturers are always around to teach the students. But that is not the case in public school like in LAG. I'm not trying to like bring down in LAG or anything, but I'm just telling you that a public school whereby the lecturers the most time do not come to class, there's always strike. Like, as I am right now, as a student, like, I'm not engulfed in reading again. Because you want to read and then you are saying, okay, I'm a student, I'm trying to strike. Strike. You can't have a successful four years in the university, just straight four years. My course is a four years course, but, okay, I'm going to give an example right now. Because of the ongoing strike and all that, I wrote jam. 2020, I wrote my post to May 2021 and I resumed this 2022 January and now they strike. Because of the same strike, we haven't we didn't resume last year, we didn't resume 2021. Now we gained the strike. I haven't even done first semester examination and all that. I want to say that if I'm given the opportunity to go to private university, I will go to private university. Private university is much better. You will receive quality education, no strike. Your four years is your four years, your five years is your five years, your six years is your six years. Not like public universities. The government are not using us to do anyhow. They don't care about us. They don't want to pay what they are con they are, what they are concerned is the upcoming election. The Minister of Education bought the presidential form of hundred million naira while students are at home. Students are at home also is on strike. They don't care. My my friend who we entered at the same time, okay, we wrote down the same time. She went to school 2021, but I resumed 2022. Now she's in 200 level because why? She's in a state school. Even a state school is much better than a um federal school because state school they do not involve. They are not involved in the ASU strike. ASU strike is just for federal schools only. This is the 200 level now, while I'm still 100 level, yet to complete my first semester. Like the government have just made this public um, universities to be downgraded. 
one of my classmates got admission into Babcock during the strike and she's going. She said she's going. She cannot wait for government. She cannot wait for Asu to call up the strike. Most people are blaming Asu, but I will not blame Asu because Asu is trying to keep the um to keep the relevance of public universities, federal universities. Because right now if you go around, if you go to you know if you go to um federal secondary schools, you will notice how poor and how downgraded they are in the society. Why? Because of the lack of infrastructures and all that. So ASU is trying to prevent that. ASU is still trying to keep our relevance as um, federal investors. I won't blame ASU, but I will blame the government. So I'm trying to tell you that if you see the opportunity to go to private universities and then someone is telling you that someone who graduates from a public or federal university, the person result is more recognized when looking for work than someone who graduates from a private university. It's a lie, you. Please, uh, my sister, my brother, go to the private university. It benefits you. If you go to, if you have the money to go to pilot university or state university, please go. Federal universities right now are fucked up. The system is fucked up. Like. It is not stable. Your four years can be six years. Your four years can be seven years. Please, if you have the opportunity to go to private school, go to private school. Thank you very much for listening. And I did not say any of this to downgrade any school or look down on any school. I am just giving examples. Thank you very much.